If you ever wondered what the biggest way to put the gap between you and poverty is, well, let me show you how. Let me show you three tips on how to wire a three-phase motor that can get you to stop coupon clipping and moving further into your full potential on earning the biggest salary you possibly can. So if you're the type of guy that likes to get dirty and likes to smash beer cans on your forehead, this is the right job for you. If you can understand basic math and at least count to nine, you're gonna be all right. You don't really need me to explain it to you. You just need me to show you where to find it. And in this case, it's written right here on the motor. These are the instructions on how to wire this bad boy to high and low voltage. All I really had to do was print out this diagram, which shows you how to wire three wire, six wire, nine wire, and 12 wire mode. A quick Google search will actually explain what's involved with these. But if you watch my videos on TikTok and YouTube, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Tip number one, always have a highlighter and figure out which voltage you need to wire. Tip number two, separate your first T1, T2, and T3 lead. And no, that isn't how many Terminator movies were made. That is the input wiring on a three-phase motor. Next thing is to get all your other leads and start looking at the little numbers that is written on the wiring itself. And then wire the numbering according to this high and low voltage. Well, how do I know what's high and low voltage? Well, that's a good question. And that's where your nameplate comes in. So right here under volts, my nameplate will say 230 and 460. So I would automatically assume that the lower number is the low voltage and the higher number is the high voltage. You're gonna wanna go to the OSHA violating machine that this motor is gonna be attached to and look at the voltage on the nameplate there, 480 volt max. So then you would know that that motor is gonna automatically be wired for high volt. So these are just some basic steps to get you out of that barista job that you're stuck in right now. And maybe to move on to something that's more fitting for you and that probably pays a whole hell of a lot better. Which brings us to tip number three. Stop sitting around on the couch and get off the internet and get yourself in a trade school and make life happen for you. So now's the time for you to jump in the comments and go ahead and leave a comment on something that you would like to see in the future.